I told the women in the pre-conference this morning that something I've prayed many times over the years, prayed over the years, is that the Lord would never let me get to the place where what I do in ministry would come easily for me. And that is a prayer he has been very faithful to answer. <laughs> because no matter how long I do this, no matter how much of it I've done, I come to any setting like this with a sense of fearful, awesome responsibility and weight and neediness, dependence on the Lord. And I think there are no sweeter words that we can say to the Lord. Maybe to tell him we love him is certainly sweet. To tell him that we praise him, but also to say, I need you. Because what does God do for needy people? What does God do for the humble, those who know they don't have what it takes? God pours what? Grace on the humble. What is God's grace? It's the desire and the power to do what God has called us to do. So as long as I think I can do this, I sometimes have the sense that God's sitting up in heaven going, you think you can do this? Go ahead. Try. In fact, it's not just that. God doesn't just leave us alone. When we become self-reliant or proud or think that we can handle this, what does God's word say he does to proud people? He resists them. That word is he sets himself in battle array against them. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to do what God's called me to do with God working against me. He's bigger than I am. But he pours grace into the humble. So don't let the fact that you feel inadequate and needy keep you from doing what God sets you apart to do. But do it with a spirit of humility and always this constant conscious sense that I cannot do this without you. Every hour I need you, every moment, every day, for every task. I cannot tell you how many times I've come to a ministry assignment, small or large, on the platform or off, and thought, I can't do this. I cannot do this. Lord, I need your grace. I need your power. I need your strength. I need your Holy Spirit. That's what I was hoping you'd ask. And then he comes, and he fills, and he anoints, and he empowers, and he enables. And who gets the glory? We can't take it because we know, I didn't do this. I couldn't pull this off. I wasn't smart enough. I wasn't gifted enough. I wasn't ready enough. God is the one. We stand back in awe, and we give glory to him. And that's what he deserves. 